Hello guys, uh, welcome to the first uh, lesson of Objective-C programming tutorials. Uh, what we would be learning in this tutorial is uh, how to program on the Objective-C language, which I'm sure most of you know is meant for um, you know Mac and iPhone and iPad programming. We won't go into iPhone and iPad programming just yet, uh, but we will try to you know sharpen our uh, uh, our skills on the pr uh, Objective-C programming. I won't go into much details of how to download the Xcode, but uh, just tell you that we would need Xcode on our Mac to be able to do programming on Objective C. Um, you can get that very easily from the developer uh, Apple developer website, or in some machines it's already built in. You know, it comes with the machine. Um, so what we would do on in this tutorial is just basically, um, you know, go through how to start doing uh, programming on uh, Objective C. So the first thing that we need to do is open Xcode and then when, when you open Xcode uh, what you need to do is select a new project and then once you've selected a new project we won't go into iOS for now like I said we would go to the Mac OS X then go to application command tool by default you would see that it's selected to C but we need to change that to foundation which is the uh, Objective C programming tool for um, for programming on uh, on the Mac or you know for programming on the Apple or uh, iPhone or the iPad but we'll do that on the later uh, in, on the later tutorials so let's select this and select choose it would ask for a name for our uh, for our project so we would say uh, project one and save so once you do that it would open up with a uh, with uh, with a window which would have the details of the project now what we would do on this one we wouldn't really touch anything we would just simply say build and run and if you see once you have done build and run at the bottom it says succeeded now how do we see what is uh, what is it that we did really on this project we would go to run and then we would go to console and if you see that uh, you know the program that we ran was a hello world program and it printed the words hello world on on the screen and it went well so it said uh, you know program exited with status value zero which means it, it ran well yeah so what we would do is we would close this for now um, this is how we would start programming so we would do our uh, code writing in Xcode now let me explain you quickly the uh, .m file which is where we would do most of our programming. Um, on the left hand side you would see there's source, documentation, external frameworks, products etc etc. We'll come to that later but as of now let's focus on the project.m file. I'll also try to explain you the, uh, the uh, you know, meaning of these little codes here. Let's uh, start with the comment code. Now if you see this code it is in green. Um, which signifies that it's a comment code. Now, a comment is basically, it's it's like an explanation of the code. Um, it doesn't affect your program. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> it doesn't affect your program. What it does is it basically gives some sort of idea to other people as to what you have written and what your, what your program would do. So you can actually write anything here. Maybe, you know, we should write, this is our first first application all right now this is a one line comment if you if you want to write a comment which is just one line you can write it in in this manner which it starts with a double uh, you know backslash so what we would do is we would write one more code one more uh, you know single line comment so i would i would put two backslashes and then i would write this is only a comment now there are times when you would want to write a lot of comments to be able to explain your codes properly. In those situations we would do a slash and, and, and a star and then we would write <clears throat> this is a multiple line comment and can be written in more than one line and then once you've written that uh, you know once you've finished writing your comments you can close it by putting a star and then the slash again so you would see that you've written a multiple line comment here okay 
So I hope you understand the difference between single line comment and multiple line comments now. Again, now let's uh, let's go back to the top. What is the import now? If you guys already know programming, you would you would be aware that um, to be able to start writing codes or to be able to start writing uh, you know a software or a program, there are other bits and pieces that you need to you know code in into your file for the program to run. Now, some smart people at Apple, what they've done is they've they've written this already in a file called foundation.h, which is already there in the Xcode. Um, so you don't need to write this, you know, the basic uh, codes to be able to start your program. All you need to do is just import that file and and start start your programming directly. So so basically, this is the import function which imports that file so that you can straight away start your coding and not need to bother about setting up the basics um, for your program to work. So this is the import. It would by default be always there, but just in case if it is not there, we can write it like this you know hash import and then the uh, you know and then the import of the foundation.h file yeah now what is this int main mm, to be able to explain you this let me give you an example of um, say you want to wash your clothes you have to start somewhere the first thing would probably be to gather all the dirty clothes and then to put them in the washing machine, then to add the detergent, and then to turn the machine on, and then let the uh, you know clothes wash, and then after it is done, you take them out and put them on the dryer. So basically, you started somewhere, and that start was to gather all your dirty clothes. Now this int main would mean the first thing. It is basically an instruction to your to your program uh, where you wanted to start from. So int main would mean the first thing that your program should do. All right. Um, we will talk about you know the uh, the syntax later on, but I just want you to have a rough idea about you know what these stand for now. Okay, let's come to auto release ns auto release pool. Now um, the auto release pool is basically a, a, a function where we where we ask the Mac or we ask the computer to you know, allocate us some memory for our program. You might have seen there are some programs which crash when you run them, um, which is because, you know, they do not have enough memory allocated to them. Um, this is what we need to accomplish by, uh, you know, auto-release pool. We need to write the syntax to be able to get some memory, to be able to allocate some memory to our program. Um, so what we do is we write this code and we ask the Mac, OK, Mac, can you give us some memory? And, you know, we're given some memory for our program to be ex to, to run or to execute. And once we've done that, um, if you see at the bottom, there's pool drain, which means once we've used our program or once our program is run, we need to give that memory back to the to the Mac or to the computer. Um, this this is not this is not something which is absolutely mandatory but it is something that you know that that counts as a good programming if if you do this you're considered to be a good programmer and your program is considered to be a very good program um in fact nowadays the the developer website or the uh, developers at apple what they've done is they've made it compulsory for programs to release the memory so that the the uh, the devices or the mac or the iphone or ipad they don't uh, they don't Basically, they function well with good memory, so so you would have to release the memory at the end of uh, using your program. Now, what is this NS log? NS log is basically uh, you know something that you've done with your program. Um, you know, for example, like printing uh, a few words or like showing up something on the screen or doing you know some some action or the other. And then in the end, we have return zero. Now, return zero is a value which which is returned when the program works fine. If there's any problem, the value will return not equal to zero. Um, so, you know, we'll talk about this in later tutorials. I just wanted to give you a basic idea of what uh, Objective C is and how Xcode looks like and how you can get started. So, thanks a lot for watching this video. In the next tutorial, I'm going to teach you the next steps and we would get into some sort of coding in the further tutorials. If you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe uh, so that you get the next video automatically when I upload them. Thanks a lot for watching again and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Cheers.